Ed Donatel came to Minnesota to be the defensive coordinator. They shifted the base look from 4-3 to 3-4. He's out after one season. Not a surprise. Took a couple of days. Kevin O'Connell and the organization making the decision to move on. A point I made in a post that I published before the show started today, Shireen. What are the Vikings going to do conceptually? Are they sticking with the 3-4? Yep. Are they going back to a 4-3? You know, one of the reasons the defense struggled, you've got 4-3 personnel. Yep. You've got to get 3-4 personnel. They had to bring in Jordan Hicks to play inside linebacker along with Eric Kendricks. They got rid of Anthony Barr, who ended up with the Cowboys, because that specific type of outside linebacker didn't fit in a 3-4 defense, period. So are you going to continue to change the personnel needed to run a 3-4, or are you going to hire somebody who's going to go back to a 4-3, and then you have to undo what you did last year and reconfigure your defense again, just as they were learning the 3-4. It's, it's a real challenge, and I think a lot needs to be done defensively. And, and again, it's attractive because the offense is so good. The defense doesn't have to be much better, but the Vikings have to decide what they're looking for by way of how their defense is going to present itself on the field. Yeah, there's just certain teams, Mike, that you think of as 4-3 defenses, 3-4 defense, because they've been that way their entire history. And the Vikings were a 4-3 team for their entire history, I think aside from one year before this past season. And then they try to come in without the personnel and say, we're switching to the 3-4. And they drafted players to fit the 3-4, and they got very little out of their draft class in 2022. They're old, they're slow, and they still don't have the personnel to fit the 3-4, which is why they ended up 31st in point in yards and 28th in points. They were horrible, and it's why they're sitting at home today rather than getting ready to play in a playoff game this weekend. So it's a huge question for Kevin O'Connell. Do we go back to the 4-3 where we have more of that personnel or do we stick with the 3-4? But either way, those players are now going to be learning a new defense and a new defensive coordinator in the second year of Kevin O'Connell's tenure. So this was a monstrous failure uh, by the Vikings. And, you know, I blame more the decision to go to the 3-4, which was Kevin O'Connell's decision, then I blame the defensive coordinator because he got one year without any kind of personnel to, to try to make this change, and it, and it wasn't going to work out. It was disastrous and a disastrous decision from the start. Well, and the whole idea of getting at Donatel is they wanted somebody who would run Vic Fangio's defense, and Fangio had just gotten fired by the Broncos. Fangio's interviewing now, and he's been linked to Sean Payton. Yeah. Why not just call Fangio? If you're going to continue right. this path – if you, if you wanted Fangio's defense, get Fangio. That would be a win for the Vikings if they could pull that off. I think Brian Flores is a guy who could maybe come in and continue this 3-4 base front that they're trying to do. And I know that defenses are multiple and they do a bunch of different right. things. Whatever the Vikings were doing last year, it didn't work, especially in the playoffs when that defense was exposed for what it is and it dragged down the offense and it dragged down the team. So it's a huge decision for the Vikings and it's a huge move to try to elevate this team to balance out the offense that it has it's just out of whack they should have been 13 and 4 they gave up more points than they scored they need balance hi I'm Mike Tirico and thanks for watching make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports